Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on File Handling using Scilab. In this tutorial, we will learn Input Function, Formatting the Output, Save Function, Load Function. For demonstration, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system with Scilab version 5.3.3 installed. You should have basic knowledge of Scilab. If not, for relevant spoken tutorials on Scilab, please visit spoken-tutorial.org. The input function is used to take the input from the user. It provides a prompt in the text string for user input. It waits for the input from the keyboard. If nothing but a carriage return is entered at the prompt, input function returns an empty matrix. The input function can be written in two ways. First, x is equal to input into brackets message to display. Second, x is equal to input into brackets message to display comma string. In the second example, the second argument is string. So, the output is a character string which is the expression entered using the keyboard. Switch to Scilab console window and type x is equal to input open bracket inside double quotes enter your age close the double quotes close the bracket and press enter type 25 and press enter now type y is equal to input into bracket, into double quotes, enter your age, close the double quotes, comma, again inside double quotes, write string, close the bracket and press enter. Type 25 and press enter. We see that in both the cases, the input we entered through keyboard was a number 25. Now let us check the type of variable that x and y are. Let us clear the console using clc command. We are doing this to validate the use and importance of the argument string given in the second example. To check the type of variable, let us type type of into bracket x and press enter. Similarly, type of y and press enter. You can see it yourself that the first answer stored in x is of type constant and second answer stored in y with the argument string included in the command is of type string. Let us now see how to format the output that, that is displayed on the console. This can be done using the mprintf function mprintf function converts, formats and writes data onto the Scilab console. It is an interface for C coded version of printf function. Let us see an example for this. Switch to the console. Type mprintf into brackets into quotes at iteration percent %i comma result is colon slash n alpha equal to percent f comma 33 comma 0 0.535 close the brackets here 33 will be displayed in place of percent i and 0.535 will be displayed in place of percent %f as a float. Press enter. This will give the output as at iteration 33 result is alpha is equal to 0 0.535000. Clear the console. Now let us see another example. mprintf open bracket into quotes value of x equal to percentage d is taken as a constant comma 
while value of y is equal to percent s is taken as a string. Close the quotes, comma x, comma y, close the bracket. In the above example, percentage %d is used to insert a constant data stored in variable x and percentage %s is used to insert a string data stored in variable y. Press enter. You see the output. Now, let us discuss the use of save and load command. To quit Scilab midway through a calculation and to continue to a later stage, Type save this session. This will save the current values of all variables to a file called this session. This file cannot be edited. It is in binary format. When you next start Scilab, type load this session and the computations can be resumed where you left off. The purpose of save and load function are the save command saves all the Scilab current variables in a binary file. If the variable is a graphic handle, the save function saves all the corresponding graphic entities definition. The file can be either given by its path or by its descriptor previously given. Save into bracket file name saves all the current variables in a file defined by file name. Save into bracket fd saves all the current variables in the file defined by the descriptor fd. Save file name, comma, x, comma, y or save fd, comma, x, comma, y saves only the named variables x and y. Let us see an example to illustrate the save and load commands usage. Switch back to the console. Let us define two matrices, say a and b. a is equal to i of 2 comma 2 and press enter. Type b is equal to 1's of a and press enter. Clear the console using clc command. Now type save space matrix dash a dash b or it can also be written as save into bracket, into quotes, matrix dash a dash b dot dat, close the quotes, comma a, comma b, close the bracket and press enter. This saves the values of variables in a binary file matrix dash a dash b dot dat in the present working directory. You can browse the present working directory to check the existence of this binary file. You can see it here. I will close the file browser. Now let us load the file back into the variables. Before this, clear the variables a and b. Type clear a space b and press enter. Let us cross check if these variables are really cleared. a, b. Now let us load back the values from the binary files in this variables a and b using the load command. Type load into bracket into quotes matrix dash a dash b dot dat close the quotes comma into quotes a comma into quotes b. Close the bracket and press enter. Let us check the values in variables a and b. Clear the console, type A and B. You can see the values are loaded back in the variables. In this tutorial, we learned input function using input command, formatting the output using mprintf command, save function, load function. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. 
Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This is Anuradha Amritkar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.